Firefights, you know, with the U.S. government, but uh, there's not too many wounded knee vets. Seven. Okay, I'm in Jean Roach. Um, I'm a survivor of the 1975 Ogola fight. I'm here to support Leonard Peltier's executive clemency. It's been 47 years and we're really tired of genocide. And this is a continuation of genocide which started at first contact. And until they make this right with all their deceit and lies, they need to just tell the truth is all we're asking and just to be treated as a human being. We're just asking for justice, no more than that. <laughs> I'm Taka Afi. My name is Augustus. I'm an organizer with the Red Nation. I'm also a assistant professor of American Indian Studies at the University of Minnesota. And I'm here today uh, to march with uh, the Walk for Justice for Leonard Peltier, who is the United States' longest serving indigenous political prisoner. That, that, the, that the movement still lives within the people today. As we fight for our land back, as we fight for, for the justice and freedom for our people, we will continue to embody that resistance. And so I urge us to not to, to, to protest and to march, but we have to continue to put pressure because any time anything has ever happened for indigenous people, it's when we put pressure on the system. And the system is designed to create whiplash on us. When we rise up, they try to jail us. They try to incarcerate us. They try to beat us. They try to separate us from our family. I felt it was my duty as the former United States Attorney to, to see that justice was done for Leonard. Because at this point, enough was enough. And so I wrote a letter to President Obama uh, joining with Leonard and asking for this for his clemency and the commutation of his sentence. I did that because I thought it was my duty as for justice. Because justice in this in this case is clem is compassion for Leonard. Peltier is an elder. He suffers from an aortic aneurysm, which could kill him at any moment. Um, he's 78 years old, 77 years old, and he's, you know, he's, he's just really suffering right now. And at this point, keeping him in prison is just gratuitous violence, and it needs to end. 